One of the most common uh, conditions that we treat is facial redness. And we have lasers that do a real good job of sort of toning down the redness that we have. And most people may have some larger vessels on the skin and then some diffuse redness. And we use two different lasers to address that. One to kind of trace out the larger vessels and the one to treat the diffuse redness. Uh, usually the treatment itself takes you know, 10 to 15 minutes. It stings a little bit, but uh, most people tolerate it very well. After the treatment, you tend to have some redness and swelling that can last anywhere from a couple hours to a couple days, rarely longer. Occasionally you can get a bruise or a scab that can last about a week. Um, the risk of scarring is less than a half a percent. It's a very safe procedure. You do it on infants and you know, any age group uh, for port wine stains and other types of things. Uh, we usually see somewhere between 10 to 20 percent improvement per treatment. And it usually takes about three, four weeks to get that kind of response. So we would do a treatment and then see, see somebody back in four to six weeks and see how it looks and then kind of go from there. On average, people may go through anywhere from you know, one to four treatments till the point where they're happy. And then over time, the redness can come back. And so there is sort of a maintenance treatment and that can be anywhere from uh, once a year to every 10 years, you know, it's kind of variable. Using a good uh, skin care can help prevent the redness from coming back as much. Uh, and rarely, some people get greater results than 10 to 20 percent, and rarely it just doesn't work. But most people get within that range. What kind? Of, what kind of activities can I do after my treatment? Yeah, that's a good question. So the goal of the treatment is to use these lasers uh, to kind of get rid of the blood vessels. So anything that would dilate a blood vessel, you'd want to be very careful of doing. So heavy exercise, you know, being in a real hot room, sauna, you know, hot yoga, that kind of stuff, you'd want to avoid. You know, uh, drinking probably for the next couple days would be good to kind of limit that. Um, it's okay, some people have to take blood, thin blood thinners and we can still do the treatment then, but if you don't need to take uh, fish oil or your blood thinner, it'd be good to hold off on those. Will I be in any pain after the treatment? Yeah, usually you don't, may feel like a little sunburn effect for an hour or so, but there's minimal to no pain afterwards. Can I put my sunscreen or my normal skincare yeah. products on after the treatment? Right, so right after the treatment, we'll put on a mixture of a sort of cooling gel and a sunscreen. And then you can put makeup on or anything else you want. I mean, there's no problem with putting anything else on your skin. The main thing is trying to avoid things that will dilate the blood vessels and kind of keep them open. And can I re return to work the next day? Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Yeah, most people are able to return to work. Some people swell up a little bit more, um, but you can still go to work, but you may be a little bit swollen. And rarely if you get a bruise or a scab, that can last about a week as well. But you could put makeup over it to cover it up.